Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you an Ubers battle against Mega Keldeo. Looking at his team, the first thing I notice is that it is a weatherless team, so I feel safe leading off with my Groudon just to get the sun up first turn. If it's not an, adva an advantageous matchup, I can just switch out and the sun will be up. So yeah. He's going to lead off with Deoxys S, the fastest Pokemon in the game. I lead off with Groudon. Now this thing usually taunts. Uh, in my opinion, he'd be better off not taunting and just going for entry hazards as many layers as he can, considering he only has one Pokemon that's weak to uh, Stealth Rock. But he does decide to go for the taunt anyway. That's okay, I go for the Earthquake just you know, not... <laughs> would, it would be really stupid to try to go st set up Stealth Rock on this guy. I get a crit, get him down to a sash, but because he had the sash, it's not like the crit really mattered. All it means is that he might not want to switch out, fearing that I'd be able to set up Stealth Rocks later in the game. I go for the Stone Edge here, predicting him to go out into Rayquaza. He doesn't go out into Rayquaza, and his, um, his Deoxys dies. So now out is going to be Giratina. Great Wall Giratina is not Giratina O. Uh, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go out into Rico my uh, scissor, thinking I can wall pretty much anything this guy can throw at me. I take the Dragon Pulse rather well, and I'm thinking, okay, he's almost certainly going to switch out next turn. I wasn't expecting him to use Aura Spear against me, and so, yeah, not good considering I went for the Sword Stance. Uh, really, actually bad. Um, but oh well, I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch here just because I don't want to switch out, and... I'd better to get some damage off on this guy. So he it actually takes him down about half, so rather impressed. I wasn't expecting it to do that much, but hey, Scissor is amazing. So Scissor goes down, unfortunately, but now I'm going to send out my Reshiram, boosted by the sun. This would be a perfect opportunity to set up, a, uh, to go ahead and go for a blue flare, even though he has several Pokemon that resist it. Um, but I, I really think it probably would have KO'd, considering I'm Specs. But anyway, I go for the Draco Meter just to play it safe and get the easy KO against Giratina. So Giratina is down for the count, that Great Wall has fallen, and now it is going to be Bishrock. Now, Bishrock doesn't have the best of defenses, but I am at minus two, and not going to really want to stay in for that. So go out into my Gondwana, go out back out into my uh, Groudon. He goes for the Swords Dance on the Switch, but you know, Groudon is physically defensive, and can probably take a few hits from this guy. So he, goes, he shows me that his main attacking move is Night Slash, uh, and as you can see, even if he critted me, I would have survived. Um, so no crit, I set up my rocks, now all I have to fear from this guy is that he crits on the next turn, um, but other, otherwise I'm going to be able to easily KO on the next turn with Earthquake. So here he goes for another Night Slash, gets me down to 28 HP, but I am alive! And I go for the Earthquake for the easy KO. Bisharp is going to go down. Bye-bye, Bisharp. So that is fantastic. Yeah, I've never actually seen Bisharp, I don't think, ever in any battles. Uh, and wasn't really wasn't expecting to see it in Ubers. Anyway, now my opponent is going to send out Rayquaza. At this level of health, it's not really worth my time to try to save my uh, Groudon. So I decide, let's just see what he's going to use. He locks himself into Outrage, and I'm thinking, well, if he's Scarf, then I'm not going to be in a good situation. Although I do have Palkia, but I see he's got Life Orb, so that's excellent. I can switch out into Deoxys, and I will be faster because he's not Scarf. And I can go for the Ice Beam, 4x effective going to get the easy, easy KO. Um, Rayquaza is going to be down. I wonder whether that was a V-Create Bandit. Although, I know it's not Bandit. I don't know why it was. Yeah, it was really kind of a mistake, in my opinion, to go for the Outrage this early in the game. Anyway, I'm thinking that he thinks he might be able to outspeed me with his Zekrom um, because it, maybe he's Scarfed, but I'm actually specifically EV'd to outrun um, base 90 Scarfers, so I managed to take out Zekrom with a, a super, a um, stab psycho boost, one of the most powerful attacks in the game. And now, and that's great, that's another KO. My opponent is down, now down to his last Pokemon, which is Terrakion. I'm going to go for the super power hitting on the physical side now, and that is going to easily net me the KO and win me the battle. So, a nice little mini Deoxys A sweep. And that is the end of the battle. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. And I've got like 10 seconds left in this battle. So, yeah, Ubers is great, isn't it? I'm actually looking forward to trying to redo this stuff for uh, BW2. So long!